to see you one last time. This video brought to you by Wilson's Heart, exclusively for Oculus Touch. There has been a lot of exciting news revealed for Destiny 2, like its addition to Blizzard's Battle.net launcher, clan support and that awesome Captain America style shield. But there is loads of exciting new information that wasn't in the stream, so here are some untold facts as well as a few things you might have missed. All right, Guardian, time to kick them where it hurts. Destiny 2 on PC will support 4K resolution and an unlimited frame rate. The options menu is robust, including full key remapping and an adjustable field of view. You will also be able to use text chat to communicate with your fellow guardians. In the gameplay trailer, there is a short segment that shows off a few tanks, but one of these shots looks like it could be being controlled by the player, so perhaps we'll be getting some vehicle based combat. Three new subclasses were revealed, the Dawnblade, the Sentinel and the Arc Strider, which seem to be replacing their counterparts from the first game. Three of the old subclasses will be returning, the Gunslinger, Striker and Voidwalker, although they will see a number of changes to their skill trees. Of course, this still leaves one more subclass for each type of Guardian to be revealed. Perhaps they will come in the base game, or maybe like the first title, they will be released at a later date. There will also be a new class ability added to the game to go along with each character's grenade, melee attack and super. These class abilities seem to be tied to your base class rather than subclass. If this is the case, all hunters will get a dodge, all warlocks will get a deployable field that provides a buff, and all titans will get a kind of cover they can lay down to block incoming attacks. According to a press release, the patrol zones on each of the new planets will allow you to be joined by up to 9 other players as you explore and engage in public events. Submachine guns have also been added to the game. Just like auto rifles, they're fully automatic but have a shorter effective range, however they make up for this with higher damage. Grenade launchers will also be making an appearance. A number of new exotic weapons were revealed, including Sweet Business, an auto-rifle Gatling gun that speeds up over time, Risk Runner, a submachine gun that converts arc damage into power and ammunition, and Sunshot, a hand cannon that has explosive rounds. In the Crucible, one-hit kills are becoming much rarer. Sticky grenades, for example, no longer instantly kill if they land on an enemy at max health. The ammo drops for powerful weapons like rocket launchers, snipers and shotguns will only be for the person who picks up the crate, rather than the whole team. And you'll be able to see which of your enemies has this ammo or their super available to help you predict and avoid their attacks. As Destiny 2 will be included in the Blizzard launcher, you can use your Blizzard balance to buy the game meaning that it's possible to use WoW tokens purchased in World of Warcraft and redeemed for credit. So if you have some leftover gold on an old Warcraft account, this could be a great way to save some money. Unfortunately, it looks like the PC version might come out slightly later compared to its console counterparts. Nothing is confirmed yet, but the PC launch date should be revealed in the coming weeks. The light level system from Destiny 1 returns and seems to work in much the same way, giving an indication of your Guardian's overall strength based on how good their weapons and armor are. This light level will determine how much damage you deal and how much damage you take in most activities that aren't balanced out like in player versus player. If you're a fan of Razer hardware and you're looking forward to Destiny, you'll be happy to hear that they've been working with Bungie to create a new keyboard, mouse, mouse mat and headset that are all set to release around the same time as the game. That's all the information we have to share with you for now, but which parts of Destiny 2 are you most excited about? Let me know in the comments below. As always, this is James Fakas saying thanks for watching and enjoy the game. And to see you one last time. This video brought to you by Wilson's Heart, exclusively for Oculus Touch, bringing you an interactive mystery experience unlike any other.